Hey everyone, it's time for viewer mail. Cindy from Cincinnati writes, I've been studying for the GMAT on my own for about six months, and I even took a test prep class, and my score is still stuck at around 620. Why is this happening to me? Help. Dear Cindy, first of all, thank you very much for your letter. Uh, second, it's very important to understand this is incredibly common. This basically happens to everybody, and there's a reason for it. To get really good at the GMAT, you need three skills, and my guess is you've only been studying one of those skills. My guess is you have been studying English and math as hard as you know how, and that test prep class you took also taught you a bunch of English and math. Here's the thing. Knowing English and math is important, but the GMAT only goes up basically to English and math you learned freshman and sophomore years in high school. Knowing a bunch of English and math only takes you so far. The other two skills you need that are absolutely critical, but nobody talks enough about them, is first of all, you have to know how this test scores you because it's completely non-intuitive. Do you know that regardless if you score like a 530 or a 730 on this thing, you're going to miss about a third of the questions on the quant section and on the verbal section. And that has huge implications on the test strategy you have to implement to do your best. Second, you need to be able to look at a question and immediately be able to decode that question to understand, first of all, what the heck are they asking me for? Because that is not always like apparent. And second, be able to see in the question, because they're going to tell you with these markers, kind of the right steps to take that will likely read, lead you down the right road to get to the right answer fast. So now here's the thing. Those other two um, skills about you know, uh, decoding the question and understanding how this test scores you, absolutely critical to understand. When you know all three skills, that's when we see scores start bumping up over the 700. Okay, Cindy, thanks so much. Bye-bye.